Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the, the fact that there is no such thing as a free lunch and the entire idea revolves around one economic term, opportunity costs. So when we take a look at opportunity costs, what we're taking a look at is we are basically going to look at why there is no such thing as a free lunch. So we're going to do a think pair share after your warm up. Your warm up today is what does it mean that there's no such thing as a free lunch? Is there such thing as a free lunch? So you guys have the opportunity to kind of evaluate that and make a decision on that. So pause the video at this point and think to yourself, what does it even mean? Jot down a few ideas. All right? In a couple minutes, I'm going to ask you to pair quietly with a nearby neighbor, and then we're going to share as a class and talk exactly what it means. So at this point, pause. So before we really kind of get rolling with this, and as we talked about what it means that there's no such thing as a free lunch, I want to review economics and scarcity with you. Real quick, I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but I just want to make sure that we are reviewing it because I think it's important that we always come back to these ideas. So first, economics. Economics, for our purposes, is the study of how rational actors use limited resources to fulfill their unlimited wants with the maximum amount of desirable benefits, right? So the whole idea of economics is that we want everything, but we can't have everything, right? But we have to make these choices. It's the study of how we make choices to make sure that the ends justify the means, all right? It's, that's, that's our working definition of economics. That's what we're going to use. That's what we're going to study. That's how we're going to make this class happen. Scarcity, on the other hand, is part of economics because it is the fundamental economic problem, right? It is the problem that defines economics. If I go back and we look, you'll see that the unlimited wants with limited resources, right? So ac scarcity is the fundamental economic problem of having unlimited wants. We want everything and only having limited amount of resources to get those done. So we have to make decisions. And that's where there's no such thing as a free lunch comes in today. Right? There's no such thing as a free lunch. The original author, unknown. Right? It's a central idea to economics. Right? And that's kind of what we do. So talk about the original author. It dates back to the 30s or 40s, but it does go beyond that. Right? So 30s and 40s, it started to get popular during the Great Depression. But before that, in the 1800s, bars and restaurants would offer free lunch if you came in and had a couple drinks. Right? So they made sure that that was being something that was done became really popular in 66 after a sci-fi story that was released to kind of kept kind of using that main idea in its book. Right? And it became a central idea of economics in 1975. It was first used in an economics textbook. Right? Greg Mankai says, to get one thing we like, we usually have to give up another thing that we like. And that's what it means. Right? Because you want that free lunch, you usually have to give up something else. Right? So I ask you guys this question. What are some things that you give up in order to accomplish other things? Is it always a choice for you? Take a moment. Think about that. So now that you've thought about that briefly, all right, I want you guys to, to kind of share out a little bit about what that means. And, and we'll, we'll do that in class. But if you're at home, just kind of think about what are some things that you give up? All right. So this idea of no such thing as a free lunch is opportunity cost. And opportunity cost is the value of the best foregone alternative or the value of what you gave up to do exactly what you are doing. For instance, if you decided to come to school today, what are you possibly giving up? You're giving up possibly earning a wage, making a living, right? Maybe you're giving up some time with some friends outside of school. Maybe you're giving up some sleep, some time with video games, right? All of those are alternatives. So what is the value of those compared to what is the value of school? And that's a choice that you need to make. I cannot make that choice for you, nor can anybody else. Your parents may make that choice for you until your 18th birthday, though. Just keep that in mind, all right? So they may say that you need to go to school because it's important, and that's something that you'll have to oblige by, all right? What are you giving up to be here? The lunch is free, right? Opportunity cost can be a variety of items. It can be money, just money. I'm giving up money, right? I could be making money, but I'm out having free lunch. Could be time. Well, I don't really have time for a free lunch today, but it's a free lunch. I might give it up, all right? You may give up grades. Maybe you're not studying and you're going to get that free lunch, or maybe you're missing class to get that free lunch. Or maybe you have a date, maybe a lunch date with somebody, and getting the free lunch is going to give up that time with them. 
All right? So basically, economics is this idea where opportunity cost exists. So what are you giving up right now? What about in the future? How will you gain? And how do you weigh these items? As you guys progress, what you guys will be doing is going forward and taking a look at these. And I think it's really, really important that we do this and that we make sure that we kind of understand exactly what it is that we're giving up. All right, and I want you guys to do this. I gave you an activity today to complete in class. You're gonna look at a couple scenarios. Those scenarios basically lay out some options, like should I go to the movies or study for my final? The actual cost of going to the movies is $25. The actual cost of my final is better grade. Which one's the best choice to make? And I want you guys to make those choices, and I want you guys to do that. All right, the last part of that is a comparison where you guys are gonna weigh the pros and cons for yourself individually of going to college. College costs a lot of money, you give up a lot of wage, to go to college, is it worth it? For some of you, it may be worth it. For some of you, it may not be. And that's a decision that you need to make. So get that into me tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care. Appreciate it. Later.